Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, I'm Jessica. And today I'm doing an extreme cleaning motivation video for you guys. So you are going to get some extreme speed cleaning motivation. If you need some motivation to clean, then definitely come and clean with me today because I've got all of that for you in this video. It is packed full of cleaning motivation. How many times did I say cleaning motivation? <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm going to get started in our master bedroom, just opening up the blinds, letting the sun in, and gonna get this bed made. I definitely was not feeling motivated on this day as most days here recently. So if you are not feeling motivated to clean, then I'm hoping that this video will help to get you up and going. That is what helps me sometimes watching cleaning videos, watching other ladies clean their homes here on YouTube definitely gets me up and moving, but also just getting up and getting started also helps. I think the best way to start is just with your bed. Once you get your bed made and that just really cleans up the room and starts the day, I feel like, and you can kind of just go from there. So I'm just going to make my bed and then do a light dusting and vacuum in here and it made all of the difference. I love these Swiffer dusters for dusting. If you haven't tried them, I highly recommend them. I really like the 360 ones, so they go all the way around, and it just makes dusting so easy, and that is the way that I dust my bedroom furniture for the most part. About once a month, I'll wipe it down with a dusting spray, but just once a week or a couple times a week, I will take the Swiffer and it literally takes one minute to just wipe everything down with this. So if you've never tried a Swiffer duster or any off-brand, definitely try them. They make your life so much easier. If you are new here, we are a military family. I have three kids. I have a almost 14 year old, an almost seven year old, and a seven month old baby boy. And my husband is in the army. So I do tons of cleaning motivation, some organizing, decluttering. Sometimes I do some like Amazon favorites and things like that I'll mix in. And I also include meal ideas in some of my videos. So if that's the sort of thing that you like to watch here on YouTube, then I would love to have you subscribe to my channel and comment below and let me know if you are new, but we would love to have you here. And yeah, everybody is super nice here and you can introduce yourself in the comments and I would love to say hello, but yeah, this cleaning community here on YouTube is pretty cool. I've met so many friends here and I've actually met lifelong friends. I have my two best friends that I met here on YouTube and then there's a bunch of other ladies that... Um, I'm friends with and I can talk to anytime that I need something. They're awesome. So I've also made friends with a lot of my subscribers that follow me over on Instagram. I talk to you guys all the time. So it's definitely a great community. So if you are feeling lonely and, you know, housewives, it can be lonely. Moms, it can be lonely. You know, just as a woman in general, it can be really lonely. So if you're lonely, you are definitely not alone. You can come here and join our community. I'm here every Wednesday for the most part doing cleaning videos and then I'm over on Instagram the rest of the week, but you're definitely welcome here. So I wanted to try this new scrubbing bubbles stuff that I got at Target and 
Nope, I don't like it. I'm not saying that it doesn't clean well. It probably does clean just fine. I mean, it did clean my countertops just fine, but it smelled gross and I don't know what it was, but it just, it wasn't for me. So I won't be repurchasing that. I don't want to knock it as a cleaner because I think it cleaned fine. It just smelled gross to me. <laughs> so that was a no, but that was what I was using just because it was new and I wanted to try it. No one ever sees me, sees me, I'm losing every battle. No one ever sees me, sees me, I'm losing every battle. Can somebody save me, save me, I'm losing every battle. So for my bathtub, I have these jets. I absolutely hate them. I never use the jets in my tub. I just use it as a soaking tub. I do love to soak in the tub, but I never turn the jets on, but I do have to clean them out about once a month. So I just run bleach through them. And today I added a little bit of this Fabuloso just to give it a good smell. But this is how I clean my jets and it keeps them relatively clean, but then again, I never really use them either, but they do get gross up inside of them. I need to take my little steam cleaner and steam them out. I think that would be really good to clean them out, but they're just nasty and I would prefer not to have them since I never use the jets anyways, but it is what it is. I'm thankful to have a big soaking tub because that's something that I really, really enjoy, especially in the winter time. I love to soak in a hot bath. And then I'm just using my Clorox toilet wands in the toilet. If you haven't tried the toilet wands, they're one of my favorite cleaning products of life. Once I discovered them, I threw away all of my toilet brushes and that's all I have in all of the bathrooms. They're amazing. They get the toilet so much more clean. They get up around the rim so much better. And then you can just throw away the cleaning head and you're not sitting that disgusting toilet bowl cleaner brush there. Oh, those are so nasty looking back thinking about it. So I highly recommend the Clorox toilet ones. I've tried a couple of the other off brands. I think Scrubbing Bubbles makes one and I'm not a fan honestly, but the Clorox toilet ones, I am a customer for life. I just mopped the floor with some hot water and some lavender fabuloso because it smells so good. Okay, so I had to get my son changed for the day, get his clothes on and everything, and then I needed to fold his laundry in here, and I needed to clean up in here. So that's what I'm doing, and as I was getting him dressed, I noticed that he had a big booger in his nose and that his ears needed cleaned, so we also did that.
So it's pretty much clean in here. I didn't wipe down the furniture because he's getting really fussy. I just So I just was able to get the laundry done and vacuum. This swing I sold. So I'm waiting on them to come pick it up. And then I'm also collecting clothes that he's growing out of as he grows out of them. I also have like a bag and a box in his closet. I've got to go through everything and get it ready for her because I'm giving it to a friend um, who's having a little baby boy. So that's just kind of a mess in over there, but I can't wait to get that out of here because I feel like it's getting pretty cluttered in his room. So we're just accumulating more things as he gets older, but at least it's clean in here. That's just like a little play corner. Um, I need to get some shelves or something in here for more storage for things for his books and toys. But yeah, anyways, at least it's clean in here. And... The bathtub is done. I'll walk in there and see if it's drained. It's done um, running the bleach through the jets, but I need to still scrub it. But I don't think he's going to let me do that right now. So, yeah, I've drained all the water. So, I'm going to come back up when I can. Probably have to wait till back, um, nap time. I'm not sure. And I'm going to use this barkeeper's friend to scrub it down with the sponge and get it all sparkly clean and then the bathroom will be done but it is clean in here and then I'll put my rugs back but this is mom life baby calls baby duty calls so I've also got a load of my daughter's laundry going in there and trash that I need to take down so this is a little behind the scenes I'm gonna cut here go take a break feed him and we will be back and then I needed to switch out some laundry. This is my teen daughter's laundry and she waited way too long and washed all of her stuff together and it was a big load but I was taking that out of the dryer for her and then just switching in what I had in the washer which was my daughter's laundry so that could get drying and then I was washing this pillow that um, I have in the bath that my friend Mandy got me. It is amazing. I think she got it on Amazon. Hey, 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 can mama get a few things time before we get too cranky? Okay. <laughs> so I got this tea kettle, well it's not a tea kettle, it's a water kettle I guess. Um, you can make water for your tea in it though. It's by the brand, I think it's called Beauty by Drew Barrymore at Walmart. I love all of her stuff. I want to get a few more of her things. I really love the toaster, the air fryer, her pots and pans set, and something else I think. Oh, her um, Dutch oven. But I got this pot. You can't tell right now, but I'll show you in a second. It lights up and has like digital buttons. But I use this a few ways. I'm just going to fill it up with water now and I boil the water. It boils it really fast and I boil the water to wash his bottles. I'm going to be washing those in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and get that water started. Okay, so it has the little base here and once you put it on there, it'll light up for you. And as you can see, it's got all the digital and then it has a bunch of different options and those are for tea, I guess. But I just do boil and then keep warm. I think I'm doing that right. 
um, and it'll boil it here. I think it boils it. I've never timed it, but if I had a guess, I would say three minutes it probably boils, and then it beeps when it's done. So while that's boiling for me, I'm going to go ahead and load these dishes. Don't be mad, big lover. Actually, you know what? I'm going, while well, this is pretty empty, I'm going to run some vinegar through it and clean it because it needs to be done. It hasn't been done in a while. So that's actually what I'm going to do. So I just ran vinegar, I think like two cups of vinegar in a cup inside of the dishwasher and that's how I cleaned it out. I also really like the finished dishwasher cleaner, but I had vinegar on hand and I didn't have that. So that's just how I did it. Um, you can also do baking soda, but I noticed while I was doing that, that the door needed to be wiped down. There was just like some stuck on food. So I'm just wiping that down with some Dawn Power Wash. Back, all the way back to the day. I've actually been loving the Dawn Power Wash for cleaning my dishes. At first, when I first tried it, I said I didn't love it. I really prefer using it for like the bathtubs and the shower, and I still really do like using it that way, but I've actually been really enjoying it for my dishes lately, so I've kind of changed my mind on that. Um, I really like the free and clear, I think it is, for, um, for Henry's Bottles, but I can hardly find it. I think I found it at like Lowe's. Um, they're always out of stock at Target, and I don't think my food line where I order groceries from carries it, but I really like the free and clear for his bottles, but in general, I just love the Dawn Power Wash, and I like the green apple scent the best. Okay, so now it's a little bit later and I was back up to finish my tub with the barkeeper's friend. I just had an old bottle of it and I'm trying to use it up. So I did that for a change. But like I said, I normally use the Dawn Power Wash and it works great. Um, I don't know that I prefer using the barkeeper's friend in my tub in particular just because I don't have any like hard water stains or anything like that. And it was a lot harder to rinse clean that way. If you do have some hard water stains or something like that, I think it would be perfect for you. But if you don't, I think the Dawn Power Wash just works great. It breaks down the soap scum, it makes it super shiny, and it rinses really easily. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie that I die I can't hide had a little rust stain from the little caddy that I have hanging in there and um, so I used the soft scrub to clean that off and it came off. I did have to use some elbow grease but it did come off. <laughs> Carry all that you've got to every heart is not a lie. I will 
And then I am just using my Jaws kitchen cleaner. I love my Jaws cleaners so much. I've been using them for years. I've used them in my old house and now in this house. I love that they are non-toxic and safe to use around pets and around the kiddos. I love that I can clean like his high chair with it and like his toys and I don't, I'm not worried that it's got harsh chemicals. Um, it does great on my granite and on my appliances and on my glass. It smells really nice. I just love everything about my Jaws cleaners. So if you are interested or you've been on the fence about getting them, I'll leave the link for you in the description box. And my coupon code, I believe that it is still good. I hope it is still good. I think it's 15% off that it will save you, but they have a cleaner for like every room in your house. And I definitely use it in the kitchen and I love their multi-purpose cleaner as well. I have went through two bottles of that so far and I've only had it for a couple of months. So while I was cleaning his high chair, I remembered that a while back one of you had told me a tip for his bib. You saw me struggling with it and you told me to get a command hook and put it on the back of his high chair and hang the bib. It, hey, I'm so tired, you guys. Hang the bib from the command hook. And I thought that was genius. So that's what I'm finally doing today. I got a command hook. I just stuck it to the back and then I hang his bib back there. That way it's right there and handy, but it's out of the way. So thank you so much for that tip. It is like 10 o'clock at night and I have been up since six o'clock this morning. I'm solo parenting right now because my husband is in the army and he has gone a lot. So I've got the three kids by myself and it has been a day. So if I say anything wrong or I sound crazy, I am just really tired y'all. So I also recently picked up this stainless, the stainless, the stainless steel. See, I told you the stainless steel cleaner from Wayman's, I think is how you say it. And I love it. And I shared it on Instagram and a bunch of you wrote in and said that you love it too. I sprayed the rag, not the fridge. That's a tip I have. A lot of you had said, be very careful because it will make your floor slippery. But I sprayed the rag first and then wiped down my appliances that way. But the reason that I love it, okay, if you've been with me for a while, you're probably like, well, what happened to your in dust? I used to use in dust on my appliances and it still works fine and it smells really good and I still like it. However, I like this better because what I noticed with this was that when I clean with it, it's like the fingerprints are resistant for so much longer. And that's what it claims on the bottle that it is fingerprint resistant. And it is true. It makes my stainless steel stay clean for several days longer than anything else I've ever used. So I love it. I'm a fan. Highly recommend it for your stainless steel. Now we are off to the living room, which is a mess as you can tell because we live in here. I've got baby toys everywhere and then my daughter's snacks and toys everywhere and then my snacks and stuff, my pump stuff. It's just a mess. It gets so messy in here so fast. But the good part about this room is it does not take long at all to clean and I actually really enjoy cleaning the living room. It's my favorite room to clean. What is your favorite room to clean? Let me know in the comments. Remember when we did it for life, just noticing all these things got me trimming the knife. Always some new thing like riding the bike. 
if you notice the decor on the fireplace is a little bit different, it is because we got a bigger TV, so I can't decorate it the same. I'm a little sad about my decor because I really liked the way that it was decorated, but I'm kind of also excited for something new. I just have to find some stuff to go kind of under the TV, so right now it's kind of in a transitional phase, um, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to take my time and find something that's perfect. And we're in the holiday season as well. So I'm decorating for fall and then I'm going to be decorating for Christmas. So like our stocking stuffers or not our stocking stuffers, our stockings are going to be up there. So once the new year comes and I take down all of my day, like holiday decor, I will find something to go up there and maybe you guys can help me, but yeah. It's just going to be a work in progress. So now I'm cleaning my cleaning rags and I just use the laundry detergent. Persil is my favorite. And then I'm using the Lysol laundry sanitizer in there and I wash it on a sanitized cycle. Now for my daughter's room, I'm just making her bed really quickly and I'm going to fold her laundry. Now she does fold her laundry most weeks by herself, but I felt like just getting it done on this day. I was in cleaning mode. It wasn't too much, so I folded it. She did put it away later when she got home from school, and my older daughter, my teenage daughter, actually vacuumed her room for me, so that was very helpful. So that's all I did in her room was make her bed, fold her laundry, and then my older daughter vacuumed in there for me. And now it was time to do the floors. Now that he was awake, he was napping, and that's why I didn't want to do the floors earlier. So now I'm doing those. I'm just taking this big vacuum to vacuum the rug. I like the way that it gets all of the dog hair up out of this rug. And then I'm going to go back in with my Dyson to do the hard floors. And then I went through and steam mopped all of the floors downstairs. not to use my Bissell Crosswave on this day just because I like to switch it up but I also really wanted to steam mop my floors. I feel like steam mopping them every so often just helps to kind of lift any residue that might be left behind from any cleaners that I'm using and it also sanitizes, sanitizes the floor and again I just like switching it up. So you may be wondering why I'm not using the Crosswave which is the mop and vacuum in one. I still use it all of the time but I like to change things up. So that is why I'm doing that in this video today. My daughter had already vacuumed the stairs for me. That is one of her chores. She vacuums the stairs. So they were already vacuumed and I'm just going through and mopping them with my O Cedar mop.
guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much. And I hope that you are motivated to clean by this point. Let me know in the comments if this video motivated you. Definitely leave me a thumbs up. And if you are new, I would love to have you subscribe before you leave. Like, share, comment. It helps me so much. It's all free ways for you to support my channel and help me keep making content like this for you guys. So I love you guys. I'll see you over on Instagram and until next week. You there is trouble It's hard to confide